Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Ark! Let's get out of this place! Can't go back the same way we came, because, well, we fell down that hole there. So, yeah, we gotta find another way to get out of here. If you were at level 6, you would have another way out of here, but I'm not, so I'm gonna have to, well, tough it out. Wow, I'm surprised these enemies aren't catching up to me. Let's see, how are we doing on levels here? Hmm. Yeah, not close enough, I don't think. I was thinking about maybe finishing off the level before moving on with the plot, but no. Okay, so if you recall, this is the way we came in here, but that hole in the wall wasn't there. We, I guess we made the hole in the wall just by plowing through. Now that we're out of there, let's get back to the blood hook with our new dark iron, or, well, black iron, or... I'm thinking of another game. No. But, okay, so we got the black iron. Let's give it to Six Pack or the Weapon Merchant. I think we give it to Six Pack. Hey, okay, how's it going? Well, yeah, it's a quarry. What did you expect? Can you make stuff out of this? Hey, all right. We're not going to be able to get that new stuff right away, but we will in the relatively near future. So, just remember that for later, viewers. Ah, nice. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, good. Well, now we can get into the kitchen there. But one thing I want to do is I want to go back and get a second piece of black iron. Not that these guys can use it. And you don't have to do it right now. But if you don't, you can never get one later on eventually. So I'm going to take care of that right now. I'll just do that off screen. But, well, we got a couple other cats in here. Oh, yeah, good for you guys. Well, that's where I found it, so... But I want to get a second piece. And there, there is a potential drawback to getting the second one. I'll go over that during the next boss fight, because there's really not a whole lot to it anyway. So, yeah. I would recommend getting the second Black Iron. So, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back at the Black Iron site. So, yeah, let's get another one. One thing about this black iron, though, because it is a key item, you can't get rid of it once it's in your inventory. And that affects an event later on, but I'll go over that when we get it. I still think it's totally worth it. But now, we're at level 6, we learned the Warp Gate spell. That lets you warp anywhere you want as long as... Well, as long as you're not... I mean, it works in dungeons or combat areas, unlike the crystal. So that's why you might want to spend the the MP on that. There are some areas, though, that the game simply won't let you warp out of with the crystal or the warp gate spell. That's usually so that you can't bypass a sequence trigger or a cutscene or an event or whatever. But most of the time, Warp Gate will let you warp out of places that the crystal won't. That's why you might want to spend the MP on that. Oh. Well, it was probably me fighting the sandworm there. Not that it was very tough, but it was there. Well, well, I didn't see anyone over there, and one of the cats there seemed to know that he was missing, though. Maybe they put him in a the locked room with the with all that other stuff. With the spare ribs and stuff. Ah, um, okay. By the way, if you go down here, you can actually get another onion. I'm not gonna do that right now, because we don't really need it right now. We can get it later when it becomes pertinent. What was that? I wonder. Well, we got this little heart thing. Hmm. 
I wonder what that's all about. Well, maybe we should head back to the shrine to look into that. Let's see here. We got... Well, his heart, I guess. Ah, his soul, or like his spirit. Not literally his heart. But, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, now we do need to actually go back to the shrine in order to find out what's going on with Blood Minch there. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, yeah, there was one thing I wanted to check out here in the basement. Yeah, the brig is empty, or at least the one with the enemy soldiers. Oh. Um, yeah, that's true. You could just let them rot. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, okay, I guess you don't say anything, man, but... Okay, so they let the prisoners go, I guess. I guess they don't take this war very seriously. Seems like a bad idea to let someone go who's probably going to raise a sword against you sooner or later. I, I don't know. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's a very good wartime strategy. But alright, we need to get back to the shrine or temple, whatever you want to call it. The Goddess Isle, some people call it. Let's see, we need to find Bowman's figurine somewhere around there. I don't know how it ended up there, but... Well, it is here, I'll just tell you. I forget exactly which one it is. We got a whole bunch of figurines around here. Let's see, I think this is the one. Yeah, which one is this? You can't tell just by looking at the picture, but... Okay, well, it's a cat, so I assume it's the one that I'm looking for. So, let's get it. Ah. Hmm, that's weird. What'd you do? Bolt it to the table? Well, in order to get the figuring off of there, what you need to do, you gotta use the heart on the figuring. Ha-ha! Now we can get it, and, well, we gotta bring it back to the world in which you came from. So, you're going to have to do that a few times in the plot where you see, like, a little heart, floaty heart or whatever. You come back here, you put it back in the figurine, you come back to the world where it came from, and you can progress with the plot there. So, remember that for later viewers. We don't do that too much in the game, but every now and then they do that. Just a function of the plot, I suppose. Fortunately, though, I don't have to risk encounters on the way back to the ship. Ah, hey! Kitty! Well, you got wood, I guess. I don't either. I guess it was like that thing that happened in the inventory with those floaty spinning platforms or plates or whatever they were. And... Turned you into a figurine for some reason. But alright. Okay, so we're done here. Let's get back to the blood hook and see what else is going on around there. Oh, we got your food back. Oh. Yeah, I did that too. Hey, how's it going? Hey, sounds like a plan. Let me join in. Ah, okay, you want me to spy more. Very well, then. Not right now, but, well, we'll be able to get more weapons eventually. Not from, not in this room, but you'll see. There'll be a little platform here where the pirates will be talking again. But all right, let's head on over to the gun boss and see what else we can do. How am I doing on my stats here? Okay, we're good. Hey, how's it going? I think one of these guys says something new about what's going on here. It, at least, immediate events. Ah, there he is. Whoa! Home, cow! Hmm, maybe that's what that other cat's talking about with all the noise being made down in the quarry or something. 
Hmm. Oh, I could have talked to Bowman too. Yeah, I'll do that in in a moment. Not right now, though. Oh, yeah. In order to progress with the plot, I think you have to talk to this guy. Oh. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. I don't know how you're going to tame a King Mole, but okay. Ah, oh, where are they fighting? Well, I guess we got skeletons and birds all over the place. But all right, let's see. Let's go. Yeah, let's go back to the Blood Hook and talk to Bowman. You don't have to, but well, all the cats are really happy about getting their source of food back. Which, of course, is more important than having weapons to save your life. Absolutely. Especially if you're a cat. Couldn't you have just gone into the kitchen and gotten your food? Food, glorious food. It's in the bone! It's in the bone! Ah, oh, it's not in the bone. Okay, never mind then. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, like rescuing your ass. Okay, well that's all we can do there. Now, let's actually progress with the plot. Just like they were saying, there's, well, a mole down below in the quarry there, and we need to beat some sense into it. Yeah, that guy doesn't say anything yet. Oh, there is one guy I wanted to talk to around here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, that's right. They let you guys go. No, no, I, I'm not wasting my head desk here. No. Dumbass! I'm the only one who's not a cat around here and no one's figured it out. No wonder these guys can't kill each other. Oh, well, I'll do the best I can. I don't know how I would do that. Well, yeah, I'll see what we can do. That's... So I guess you guys all came from down below then, huh? Well, I'll tell you right now, it doesn't have a weak point. Yeah, yeah, you might want to just take it out instead. Okay, well, we got kick-ass music coming up for boss time. So I'll be a little quiet here. Yeah, kick ass! Okay, so the King Mole is not really that extraordinary. How's my defense looking? Let's see, okay. So, the most damage this guy can deal to me is 11. So, I can play it a, a little more aggressively here. The King Mole is, or has 70% resistance to all elements. So, your magic isn't really going to deal a whole lot of damage, even with the item. So, yeah, it's just a really long slugfest with this guy. Well, he's a mole, not a slug, but you know what I mean. Whatever. Now, as long as we're stuck here, uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the black iron is, or the second piece of black iron, it can be used for creating some items later on in the game. But there is a potential drawback to it. Uh, later in the game, 
there's a blacksmith who says that he can forge a better sword for you with it. However, he's also the same guy as the weapon smith for the town, or the weapon shop, and he won't sell anything to you as long as you have black iron in your inventory. So, and it does take him a little while to forge the sword. So, you'd be locked out of the weapon shop for a couple dungeons, but I think that's okay because the weapons that you could potentially get from him aren't really that good anyway. And I have a second use for the black iron later on, too. And also, another thing about it, since it's a key item, you can't just get rid of it of your in out of your inventory in order to unlock the weapon shop. And while he's forging the sword, the weapon shop is not available anyway. But alright, got him. Easy enough. Ha ha. Did we kill it? Nuts. I guess you guys shut down the hearth, huh? Oh, right. So, yeah, in order to, well, chase down the king mole, we gotta get some guys to help out. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, I love that boss theme. They got a lot of boss themes, or battle themes in general, in this game. I approve. Okay, so, now that we're done with that, before giving chase, I want to return back to the Blood Hook, because, well, once you've defeated the King Maul, the new shops are available. Hooray! So, let's see what we can get here. Okay, let's see. I think the axe is the strongest one. Yeah, that would be the way to go. The reason they have different weapon types here is because when you get more characters, some characters can only equip specific weapon types. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. And by the way, with the black iron axe, eventually we will find a better weapon for it. But if you're playing ahead of me, you want to hold on to the axe still for later. So don't just sell it once you get an upgrade there. And I would also like to be able to buy some armor, which is just flat out better than what we got now. Hmm, I don't know why they shortened the name Black Iron Shield, or, yeah, Black Shield like that, but okay. We got all Black Iron goods now, so that's pretty nice. It's a lot stronger than the stuff we had before. Yeah, that'll really help us out a lot. But can we track down the King Mole wherever it fled to in the quarry? Find out next time on Let's Play Mystic Arc. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.